The blow molding process includes two basic steps preform molding and blow molding. First, process the PET resin into preforms via injection molding, and then the cooled preforms are blown into bottles in a stretched blow molding machine. Hello, my name is Mayank Agarwal and I am the owner of General Plastic Industries, your packaging partner. When you are working with PET plastics, one of the benefits is that the plastic can level itself. As one part of the preform begins to stretch, that part will begin to harden, so it cannot stretch as much. The nearby parts will then begin to stretch. This process repeats itself until the entire piece has hardened and the final piece may show a difference of as little as 0.001 inches. However, when you are working with stretch blow molding, you may find that you have a larger difference than that around the outside of your bottle. If your machine do not meet all of the right conditions, the bottle may not be even. There are several potential issues that may cause uneven thickness in the bottle in the wall of the bottle. Uneven gate. This is by far the most common cause of wall thickness problems. The gate point of the preform when blown into the bottle is not centered. Then the wall thickness will go where the gate goes and no amount of self leveling can prevent this from happening. Reasons for uneven gate point are mentioned below. Number 1. Stretch rod not pinning down the preform properly. Typically, the distance between stretch rod and the blow mold bottom should be adjusted to 0.04 inches less than the preform gate wall thickness. This will ensure that the preform cannot slip during high pressure blow. As preforms have become thinner, these gaps have to become smaller. Number 2. Pre-blow pressure is too high or too early. The stretch rod has to connect with the preform before pre-blow pressure has a chance to blow the preform off center. When it is con connected, the pre-blow cannot be so high as to blow the preform off the rod. The amount of the pre-blow pressure requires, required depends on the preform thickness and temperature. Number 3. High pressure is too early. High pressure may not be energized before the stretch rod has firmly pressed the preform against the blow mold bottom. Otherwise, even a small difference in temperature of the preform wall thickness will invariably move the gate off center. Number 4. Blow mold bottom is not machined correctly. In order to assist the stretch rod in pinning down the preform, a small well is machined into the blow mold bottom. This allows room for the tail at the bottom of the preform and prevents the preform from slipping. Number 5. Bent stretch rod. Typically, stretch rods are very sturdy, but in some cases where the neck of the bottle is lower than 20 mm, the stretch rod needs to be slimmed, making them vulnerable to being bent. If a stretch rod is bent, the position of the fall will change, resulting in the gate point moving. Number 6. Uneven wall thickness. The wall thickness of the preform is uneven during the injection molding process. When a core is uneven, it results in uneven wall thickness in the preform. Uneven heating and cooling. Another common problem is that the bottle is not heating or cooling evenly. If the thickness of the bottle's wall is uneven, it may be due to one side of the preform being a different temperature than the other side of the preform. The cooler side will not stretch as much, so it will end up being thicker than the other side. All the above mentioned problems can be solved if a skilled operator is handling the production process. If a problem is brought to his notice, slight tweaks can be done in the settings and the problem can be resolved. If you have learned something from this video, please share this video with your friends. This is Mayank Agarwal signing off and I will see you in my next video.